Hello, boys and girls, back again today to learn more about insects. And today we're gonna to learn about the most beautiful insect in the world, a butterfly. And so I'm gonna teach you some cool things about butterflies and read you a book that tells us a lot of interesting facts, some facts that you may not know yet. So here we go. This is called Busy Butterflies. Come into the garden of butterflies Look at the butterflies fly by. They are all the colors of the rainbow. Butterflies have four wings and they have two antenna and six legs and they come in all shapes and patterns. Let's watch butterflies grow and change. I'm gonna show you the cycle of the butterfly. So we start out here and it go, has an egg. And then after the egg, it turns in, the caterpillar comes out of the egg. Then it turns into a chrysalis and then it becomes a beautiful, beautiful butterfly. A chrysalis, now that's a new word. So I'm gonna tell you what that means. A chrysalis is where a caterpillar changes into a butterfly. It's like a hard shell. A butterfly finds a leaf to lay its eggs on. Some butterflies lay only one egg at a time and some lay a whole bunch of eggs at the same time. And the funny thing is the eggs are all different too. Some of the eggs are really smooth, some are bumpy, and some actually have like little pokey things. They're, they have like spikes, kind of crazy, huh? A caterpillar grows inside the egg. So there's an egg and inside it, the caterpillar is growing. And as it grows and grows, then finally it chews a hole into the shell and it wiggles its way out. It eats its own shell. And then after that, it just starts eating leaves, lots and lots of leaves. Look at those cool pictures. The caterpillar grows and grows and its skin gets really tight and then it sheds its skin and then it gets tight again, and it sheds its skin. And this can happen several times in a caterpillar's life. There was a lady named Maria, and she lived over 300 years ago, and she used to watch caterpillars change into butterflies. And that was one of her favorite things to do. And she, she drew beautiful pictures of the changes and of the beautiful butterflies. Soon the caterpillar stops eating. It's about to make a big change. So the caterpillar hangs upside down with its head down and it sheds its skin for the last time. So last time it's gonna shed skin and this time the new skin hardens around it and becomes a chrysalis. The chrysalis splits open and a butterfly pushes free. It has soft, wet wings. Its wings are warmed by the sun. Slowly they harden and dry. The butterfly flies off for its new life with wings. The butterfly eats sweet nectar. And what nectar is, it's just like a sweet juice inside of a flower. It can't chew anymore. It sips through a straw-like tube, and this is a tube, look at that, it's its feeding tube. And it not, it not only eats only nectar, other things that a butterfly can eat through its straw is human sweat. So when you're sweating outside and a butterfly lands on you, it might have just had a little drink. And turtle tears, and tree sap, and mud puddles, and even rotting fruit. So if you have a piece of fruit out on the ground outside, Butterfly might come and drink some of it. Some animals eat butterflies. This bird is hungry. But this butterfly, it's tricky. It can hide. It closes its wings and it holds still and it looks just like a dead leaf. Can you see a butterfly anywhere? I can't. Butterflies have other ways to stay safe. Some have spots 
The spots look like eyes. They scare away predators. So a predator, this is what a predator is. And you might already know, but I'm just going to remind you. A predator is an animal that hunts and eats other man animals. So basically it's a food chain. One animal, a smaller animal is eaten by a bigger animal. Um, butterflies predators are lizards, frogs, birds, and spiders. They like to eat them. Have you seen butterflies in a garden? If you have, this is what you can do. Plant some flowers and butterflies might visit you. Or if you have flowers out in your yard, I bet you have butterflies in your yard. You can have your very own butterfly garden. Now, I want to tell you a couple more things about butterflies. Something that you may have noticed, and I'm going to, if you look at the cover of the book, if you look at this butterfly, the line down the middle, the body, separates the two sides of the butterfly. And if you look really close, you can see that both sides are exactly, exactly the same. There's a word for that. If something is the same on both sides, it's called, it says it's symmetrical. And the body of the butterfly is like the line of symmetry. So line of symmetry and symmetrical. So those are two words that we learned today. The butterfly is symmetrical because it's the same on both sides. The line of symmetry is a body. So even if you look at your own self, if you look in the mirror and you look at your face, if you look at one side of your face and the other side of your face, they're the same. Your line of symmetry would go right down the middle. It would be your nose, and that would be your line of symmetry. Um, it's kind of fun to see things in real life that are symmetrical. A lot of things are symmetrical, and they're very fun to look at and see. So today, what I want you to do for me, and this will be fun because who doesn't love butterflies? I want you to draw for me a butterfly. I want you to make it symmetrical. Make sure both sides of your butterfly are the same. So if you have, like this one has white down here, then you have to have white down there. If it has blue in the middle, you have to have blue in the middle. Make it look completely symmetrical, but make it your very own. Make it fun. If you are going to be really creative, maybe you don't want to draw it. Maybe you want to find some things around your house that you can create it out of. Maybe you have some construction paper. Maybe you want to cut. I know you guys love creating. Maybe you want to cut and put it together and make your very own butterfly. So have fun with that. If you do it, let me see some. Take a picture. Send it to me. Love you guys. Have an amazing day. Talk to you tomorrow.